Hello, hello, YouTube viewers, listen to me, pay very, very close attention, <laughs> pardon me, pay very, very close attention to what I have to say, <laughs> Matthew chapter 7 says, do for others what you would like them to do for you. Matthew 22 says, One of the two greatest, greatest and most important commandments is, is to love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 6 says, If you forgive those who have sinned against you, your heaven, heavenly Father will forgive you. And and Matthew Matthew seven says, "Ask and you shall receive; seek and you shall find; knock and and the door shall be opened unto you." But now, listen to me. I have I have done more videos than I can count on how to stop cussing, and on how to and on how to prevent cussing. But within the last three or four days before I made this video, I cussed more bad words than I can count. I lost my temper recently and I cussed right and left. But keep in mind, no one is perfect. So if if you cuss, don't be afraid. We all do wrong. I did I I recently cussed, even after I did all those videos on how to stop or prevent cussing. So, so, listen to me. <clears throat> after, after you watch this video, ask the Lord to help you to never be af afraid to ask him to forgive you of all of your sins ask the lord to never let you fear asking him to forgive you of all of your sins but keep in mind read matthew 6 and 7 before you ask the lord anything especially after watching this video or or a video this important but now listen to first john chapter one in in this video i am going to let you hear hear first john chapter one and i may i may let you hear hebrews 13 and john 8 but I am certainly going to let you hear First John chapter 1. Thank you very much. Set my timer for 15 seconds. First John, chapter 1. The one who existed from the beginning is the one we have heard and seen. 
We saw him with our own eyes and touched him with our own hands. He is Jesus Christ, the word of life. This one who is life from God was shown to us and we have seen him. And now we testify and announce to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He was with the Father, and then he was shown to us. We are telling you about what we ourselves have actually seen and heard, so that you may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy will be complete. This is the message he has given us to announce to you. God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not living in the truth. But if we are living in the light of God's presence just as Christ is, then we have fellowship with each other and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from every sin. If we say we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and refusing to accept the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Chapter 2. <clears throat> I, I have, I have decided to not, to, to not let you hear the other passages I, I mentioned in this video, but I strongly encourage you to read them with First Peter 5. Read the other two passages I've mentioned with first with first Peter 5 and keep in mind even after we ask the Lord in into our hearts we all will say and do wrong sin and say things we shouldn't sometimes and we will also sin and sin and do things we sh we shouldn't sometime also keep keep that in mind <coughs> <coughs> and please like share and subscribe